hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to transfer stories yes this story is about a band name but before i get down to that i just want to talk to you about david louise signing a one-year contract extension at arsenal are you arsenal fans happy about it please feel free to put it down in the comments below to let me know what you feel i know some of you might be happy i know some of you might be upset i know some of you might be angry the way he got sent off at man city so you know put your comments down below what you think about him signing a one-year contract extension but anyway that's enough about that louise let's get down to the main story the main topic a family man could be on his way out of Arsenal, you know who, but let's go all the way through it so guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So a family man could be on his way out of Arsenal, now uh, you said my thumbnail you can all tell where he's been rumoured to, Barcelona. This could be a great move for Barcelona, he, you know, could be a straight swap for Lino Messi with the likes of, you know, Messi coming out. Suarez, you know, is it going to be a backup shock for Suarez or is it just going to go straight to the centre and be a straight swap for Messi? Speaking of Messi, could Messi be on his way to the Premier League? That is, you know, one of the stories that could be coming up on this channel, like if you want good reason to subscribe to my channel. He's 31 years old, so, you know, he's had the peak of his career but he's still going at 31 he's got two citizenships one in france and one in gibraltar sorry if i missed that that might probably have somewhere across the line but having him two citizenships one where he plays and one in france he's choosing where he's played for whatever reason but i think he could have been a big help in france if he chose to play there obviously he hasn't but i'm just saying if he did it could be you know a fairy tale for him if he did go to france his contract does not run out until the 30th of june 2021 so next year three days after my 27th birthday he's got a total of 20 goals this season for arsenal so you know not too bad either he's picked up the one red card for arsenal as well this season he's played a total of 200 no, sorry, 2,891 minutes. So, you know, with that amount of minutes, with that amount of goals, ain't too bad either. He can play on the left on the right, which obviously makes it more suitable for Barcelona than over Real Madrid. Because if you look at Messi, he plays on the right, I think. And he can also play down the centre. So, you know, it could be really interesting if a Bamian does indeed go to Arsenal. Arsenal signed him back in 2018 for around about £57.5 million. Pounds. So he's had two years at the club. I think twice in two years that Arsenal have qualified for Europa and not yet qualified for the Champions League. And speaking of Arsenal, it looks very unlikely that they will be in Europe for next season. Obviously it's still possible but they really have got to pick up some points somewhere across the line. So, you know, whether it's against Southampton, whether it's, you know, whoever else they've got coming up, they really must start winning games and hopefully that the top five, top four, you know, start missing points. But I think it's very unlikely that Arsenal will qualify for Europe. So we are still playing. Arsenal are likely to sell him in this window. And I'll tell you why, because in July of, uh, not July, January of next year, he has six months left on his contract, which means he can talk for other clubs, which then means he can go on a free transfer on the summer of 2021. Same as Alan Ramsey did, and a few other Arsenal players, you know, they've left on a free. I think it could be a good move for a Bamiyang. I'm not going to, you know, lie about what I think about the move. I think it could be a brilliant move. Obviously, he's had his time over here. If he does leave on the 3v, I'm guessing you are still fans will not be happy about that. Also, put it down in the comments below if he does leave on the 3v. But this one could, be, could definitely be one to watch out for across this window. Another good reason to keep on my channel and press that subscribe button 
so you won't miss if he does go. But, you know, with the likes of Aubameyang could be on his way out of Arsenal. Who could be coming on his way in? I find it very hard to, you know, pinpoint Arsenal's targets. No disrespect to the club, but, they, you know, they're not as, I'm just going to say, as good as they used to be. I remember with the Unvincibles, I remember Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira, Robert Perez, Dennis Bergkamp. Yet again, really trying my age, but... You know, where has it gone so wrong for Arsenal? But this move, as I said, definitely keep an eye out for. Hit subscribe to my channel so you won't miss if he does move. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give this a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.